Hello. Hello. Hello, Mary. Good evening. Okay, how are you today, Mary? Wait a minute, your audio is too small. Okay, hello. Hello. All right, it's okay now. I can hear me. Okay, so good evening. How are you today, Mary? And you? I'm fine too. So what did you do today? Uh, what have you done today? I'm doing my homework and, and learning. learning. Okay, so you also had your online class, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. All right, well, um, for tonight, Mary, we're going to start a new activity or I mean a new lesson because we're already finished with Unit 49. So now we are going to start Unit 50, okay? Okay. All right, let's begin, Mary. Oh, wait a minute. Have you seen? Yes. Have you seen the homeworks that I sent you on Zalo? Yes. Okay, I sent you three. Did you answer it already? Yes. All right. Oh, where is it? Did you send it on? Did you take a picture of it? Mm. No, but I write my answer. Oh, you write your answer on the paper. Okay. So after class, Mary, please take a photo. Please take a photo of your homework, okay? And send it into my Zalo account, okay? So I can check it later. Okay. Yeah, you just take, take a photo of your um homework and then you send it in zalo okay let's begin mary so unit 50 well done can you say it well done well done okay well done means you're very good okay so let's answer first letter a activity say what you see in the pictures and find words that sound the same all right, so here, let's talk about some pronunciation first, okay? Can you read the sentence, please? My eye, tell me more words, fly, hi, my, and I. All right, so as you can see, the words hi, my, and I sounds like the same, right? I, so they end all in I, right? Yes. Okay, so now, Mary, can you give me at least three words again that sounds like that? I, hi, my, or what else? Great, bit, in, lit. Okay, that's correct. Oh, wait, let's start first in this sound. I, hi, my. Oh, you give me another words. That sounds like I. Three words. Is mice. Mm, no, because it has at the end. You think of another one. I, hi, my. Hmm. Can you think of some words or do you want me to give you an example first? Yes? Yes. 
Okay. So these are some examples like that. Okay. So these are some words that ends in I sound. There's buy, buy, fly, try, dry, and why, right? So they sound all they sound like the same. Okay, anyway, now let's answer letter A, Mary. Say what you see in the pictures and find words that sound like the same. Okay, so first, Mary, you have to tell me or you have to write here under the picture the name of each picture here. And then you have to choose the word that sounds like the same in the circle. Okay. All right, one last. Uh, this is a kind of a body of water. It's a kind of, but okay. Well, it's not a pond. You you can change it. Another word for pond. Another word for pond or another kind of body of water. You can change it. Okay, so now you have written the names of the pictures here. Now all you have to do is to, uh, let's check it first, okay? So the first one is a whale, next is fly, correct? Skirt, cage, glass, plate, cloud, plant, arm, and lake. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so now Mary, all you have to do is to encircle now the words uh the word that sounds like the same as the picture for example whale so now you're going to choose here the word that sounds like whale okay 
Okay, you have to encircle the word that you found. Did you found something that sounds like whale? No. Okay, wait, I will give you an example for whale. So the word that sounds like whale is sail, right? Whale and sail. How about fly? You can look for the word that sounds like fly. He's okay, dry. let's see. Dry is correct. Next one. It's hurt. Skirt and hurt. Yes. How about the next one? H and E. Cage and age, yes. How about the next one? Glass in grass. Glass and grass, yes. Next one is? Plate. In eight. Late and eight. Yes, very good. Next is cloud in loud. Okay, cloud and Loud, yes, very good. Next is plant and ant. Plant and ant. Okay, next is arm and farm. Arm and Wait a minute, I cannot see it. Yes, arm and farm. And the last one is? Lick and break. All right. Good job, Mary. Lick and break. Okay, so you got the perfect score of 10 points in this activity. Good job, Mary. Next one.
Now, let's create some points. Okay, well, this is an example, Mary. Can you read it, please? The children in our class are sitting on the, the grass and fishing in a lake in our school lunch break. Okay, very good. Now, Mary, as you can see, the the words that uh, the the word that ends here on the short poem is about. Uh, they sound like the same, right? For example, class and grass, lake and break. Okay. Okay. So now, Mary, can you do a short one like this also? Um, no, because it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. Okay. So, all right. Um, I will think. Maybe this activity I will give you as a homework. Okay. So you can think of it. Okay. Okay. All right. So here are some examples of words that sounds like the same also. Can you read the rhyming words, please? It's a uh, more... Rhyming words, Jack, Black, Jack, Man, Rain, Gray, Blay, Cake, Snake, Train, Lane, Car, Star, Park, Shark, Weird, Cat, Egg, Leg, Sea, Pea, Jeans, Beans, Swim, Gym, Ricks, Sick, kite, right, bike, light, rice, mice, sock, rock, dog, frog, boat, goat, house, mouse, funny, sunny, brother, mother. Okay, and ETC means etc. Et okay, it means um, it has many to mention. Okay, so now Mary. Okay, anyway, let's skip that and proceed to this next activity. So this is activity letter B. Listen and tick the box. Okay, so now Mary, just like our old activities, all you have to do is to listen to the recording and tick the box of your answer, okay? Okay. All right, let's do it. 50B. Well done. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. Example. Which is Daisy? Daisy did a listening test yesterday. Which of your friends is she? The one who goes sailing? No, Uncle Tom. She doesn't do that because she can't swim. But she likes whales. She's always reading about them. Well, that's great. One. What does Kim need? Have you got everything you need for your English test today, Kim? I've got my pencils, but I can't find my new pair of glasses. And I need them. They're in the kitchen. Your new school skirt looks very nice, Kim. Thanks, Mom. I really like it. Two. Where is Tony now? Where's Tony? Did he do all the work he needed to do for his spelling test? Yes, Dad. He's not in his room now. He's listening to some music in the living room. And he's eating chocolate cake. Did he put it on a plate? Yes. Don't worry. He got one from the kitchen. Three. What is on Ben's computer screen? What are you looking at on your computer, Ben? I'm learning about different plants. It's for a test at school on Friday. Oh, OK. And the story you have to write about working on a farm? 
I'm not doing that now, Mum. I can do it after my football game on Saturday. Four. What did Pat do in his test? My friend Pat had a music test in his lunch break today. He can play the guitar really well. That's good. And he's very good at singing, I think. Yes, but he had to play the piano in his test today. Oh, so he can do that too. Great. Five. What does Jim want to do now? Hi, Grandpa. My test wasn't difficult. It was easy. I got eight out of ten. <laughs> well done, Jim. Are you thirsty? Would you like some milk? Not now, thanks. I'd like to sit and watch a film, I think. I don't want to do any more writing. <laughs> OK, good idea. OK, so now oh, I can see you use different colors of ink. <laughs> OK, let's answer. All right, this is an example only, right? Which is Daisy. So the answer is letter B. OK, number one, Mary, what does Kim need? What's, le what's the letter of your answer? Letter C. Oh, wait a minute, I cannot see it. Maybe letter C is correct. Okay, how about number two? Where is Tony now? He's letter A. Okay, maybe that's correct because we cannot see the check. How about number three? What is on Ben's computer screen? It's letter B. Okay, how about number four? What did Pat do in his test? Letter A. Letter A. Okay, number five. What does Jim want to do now? Letter B. Letter B. Okay, I can see the ticks now. It means all your answers are correct. Five points for you, Mary. Very good. Yes, next one, Mary. Now let's have letter C. Play the game Stepping Stone. Okay, what, what is this? Mm -hmm, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute, Mary. I'm still reading. Okay, anyway, let's skip this one. <clears throat> Because it's difficult to play. Okay, let's open the next one, Mary. Wait for me. Because that activity is um, very difficult to do. Okay, wait a minute. Teacher will just open it. Wait, wait, wait. Because the folder is still opening. Okay, it's open now, Mary. All right, can you see the screen now? Yes, yes. Okay. We are having some delays in Zoom. Sometimes your audio is like a robot. Yes. 
Okay. Okay, so now let's um, have this activity because we're already finished in, in movers, um, textbook, or lessons. Now all, all that's left to do is everything is about activities, okay? So the first activity is listening. Okay, so this is listening 5.1. Okay, now Mary, this is part number one. Listen and draw lines. There is one example. Part Hey Mary, why were you out? My internet is not good. Ah, okay. Anyway, we can still start the lesson, okay? Okay. Okay. So now this is part number one again, Mary. Let's listen one more time. Part one. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. What are you looking at, Sam? It's a photo of my brother's birthday party. Is he the blonde boy who's standing on the chair? Yes. His name's Tom. He's seven now. He is. Can you see the line? Yeah. This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's the girl who's sitting next to Tom? The girl with all the sandwiches? <coughs> yes. She's hungry, I think. Oh, yes. That's Sally. She loves eating. Two. Jane was at the party. Is she sitting at the table? No, she's the woman who's standing by the door. She's my mother's friend. Oh, and she's got a baby. Look at his curly hair. Three. What's his name? The boy who's under the table playing with the cat. That's Bill. He didn't want to sit at the table with the children. <coughs> oh, why? 
Why? Well, he likes animals more than people. Four. The boy who's eating ice cream is enjoying the party. Yes, that's our cousin. His name's Nick. I like his hat. That red one is his favourite. He wears it every day. Five. Look at Sue. Where is she? Outside in the garden. She's got a guitar. Can she play it? Yes, she played Happy Birthday and we all sang it. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's the girl who's sitting next to Tom? Okay, so are you finished now, Mary? Yes. Okay, let's check if you got the correct answers. Okay, so number one, Mary, Sally and the girl eating the plate of sandwiches. Yes, two, Jane and the woman holding the baby. Okay, number three, Bill and the boy. Oh, this is not hoy, it's boy, okay? Bill and the boy under the table, playing with the cat. Okay, four, Nick and the boy eating ice cream. And five is Sue and the girl with the guitar in the garden. Okay, very good, Mary. Five points for you. Okay, next one, Mary. Part number two, listen and write. There is one example. Okay, Mary, um, you're going to listen again to our recording and... You must take note or remember the information that you will hear, okay? Okay. Hi, let's do it. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello there. What's the matter? I can't find my sports bag. Okay. Did you have your bag with you here at the swimming pool today? Yes. All right. Then we must find it for you. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. What's your name? It's Daisy. Daisy Fry. Do you spell that F-R-Y, Daisy? Yes, that's right. Two. And what colour is your bag, Daisy? It's orange, and it's got my name on it. Orange, you say? Yes. Because we've got a yellow one here. No, that one isn't mine. Three. Now, where did you last have your bag? It was on the grass outside. Next to the swimming pool or the cafe? The swimming pool. Four. And what's inside your bag, Daisy? A towel. My mother bought it for my swimming lessons. Is that the only thing in your bag? A towel? Yes. Five. Now, where do you live? My address is 42 Top Street. Number 42. I know Top Street. Do you? Yes. Now, I must look for your bag, Daisy. And you must be more careful with your things. Now listen to part two again. Okay, so you're finished answering already, right? No. 
Oh, you have one more, number one. Do you want to listen one more time? Yes. Number one only? Yes. Okay. One. What's your name? It's Daisy. Daisy Fry. Do you spell that F-R-Y, Daisy? Yes, that's right. Two. And what colour is your bag, Daisy? It's orange, and it's got my name on it. Orange, you say? Yes. Because we've got a yellow one here. No, that one isn't mine. Three. Now, where did you last have your bag? It was on the grass outside. Next to the swimming pool or the cafe? The swimming pool. Four. And what's inside your bag, Daisy? A towel. My mother bought it for my swimming lessons. Is that the only thing in your bag? A towel? Yes. Five. Now. Where do you live? My address is 42 Top Street. Number 42. I know Top Street. Do you? Yes. Now, I must look for your bag, Daisy, and you must be more careful with your things. OK, let's check now your answers. So now, please look for a sports bag. Number one, the name of the child is... Daisy Fry, correct? Two, color of bag is orange. Number three, the bag was next to the swimming pool. Four, inside the bag was a towel, not a tower. And number five, child's address is 42 Top Street. Okay, good job, Mary. So you're only wrong here. Okay, four points for you. Okay, next one, Mary. Let's listen to part number three. What did Paul do last weekend? Listen and draw a line to the day to the correct picture. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Paul do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. So, Paul, did you enjoy your week at your uncle's house? Yes, I did. He lives in the mountains. It's beautiful there, and there are a lot of things to do. But did you do your homework? Oh, yes. I did that on Friday. Can you see the line from the word Friday? On Friday, Paul did his homework. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. It snowed on Wednesday. That was the best day. Oh, what did you do? My uncle and I walked in the forest. We saw a lot of animals. Were you afraid? Oh, no. 2. We went to the market on Sunday. Oh, no, sorry. That was on Tuesday. Tuesday. Right. So what did you buy? Oh, a lot of things. Bread and some cheese, and my uncle bought a rabbit. To eat? No, for the children to play with. Three. What did you do on Saturday, Paul? Did you go to the forest again? No, we went skating. Where did you do that? On a lake. Four. And on Thursday, we went to the cinema. On Thursday? Yes. The film was about some men who climbed to the top of a mountain and found some treasure in the snow. Oh. Five. 
I played with my cousin on Monday. Oh, did you? Yes, I saw the rabbit again. They have a lot of animals at my cousin's house. Oh, what kind? They have chickens in their garden and a goat. Now listen to part three again. One. It snowed on Wednesday. That was the best. All right, are you finished now? Okay, let's check your answers, Mary. So number one, Tuesday is correct. Next, Monday is also correct. Thursday is correct. Wednesday and Saturday is also correct. Good job, Mary. So, therefore, you have five correct answers. It means your perfect score. Okay. Next one, Mary. Let's have part number four. Listen and tick the box. There's one example, okay? okay. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What does the girl want to buy? I need to buy some new clothes for my holiday. More jeans? No, I don't need any, but I'd like a new coat. I never wear one. I like wearing my jacket. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. What did the boy draw? I had to draw an animal at school today, Mom. It was very difficult. What was it? A lion? A kangaroo? No, a smaller animal than that. What was it then? A bat. My teacher liked it. 2. Where can they have the picnic? We must stop and have the picnic. I'm tired and thirsty. OK. Would you like to eat there, by the river? No. How about next to the waterfall? The grass is wet there. Look, on those rocks? That's a better place. Yes, OK. 3. What's the parrot doing? Can I give the parrot some fruit, Mum? Not now. It's sleeping. But I can hear it. It's talking. No, it isn't. That's the radio. Okay, let's check your answers now. So, number one, what did the boy draw? Number Letter B is correct. Two, where can they have a picnic? Letter B. Number three, what is the parrot doing? It's letter C. Okay, so three points for you here. All right, Mary. Well, let's continue this one again tomorrow because we don't have enough time left, okay? All right. And Mary, don't forget to take a photo of your... Um, answer in your paper, okay? All right. Okay, Mary, can you hear me? Okay, so that will be all for tonight, Mary. So see you again tomorrow. Good night. Okay.